I love a well-seasoned steak straight from the oven. But if I was gonna choose one thing to accompany it, it would be the green peppercorn sauce. This is one of the truly classic sauces that's simple to make and goes really well with steak. And I'm going to cook it in my cast iron skillet. I can get this up to a searingly high temperature and that's gonna give the steak a really wonderful crust. I'm going to take into account the difference of cooking this on the stove top where you only have the direct heat from underneath. In the oven, you're gonna have the direct heat from the floor into the pan, but also the radiant heat from the fire and the dome and the convection heat from the air being drawn into the oven. So the steak and the sauce will cook in a much shorter period of time. I have two beautiful ribeye steaks that I've given at least an hour to come up to temperature. Some clarified butter that I'll warm in the oven opening. Some flaky sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. For the green peppercorn sauce, I have three tablespoons of unsalted butter, four shallots, finely diced, two cloves of garlic, also finely diced, two tablespoons of green peppercorns, three tablespoons of brandy, but you can use a nice bourbon as a substitute, 250 grams of beef stock, and 200 grams of heavy cream. And with the steak, I'm gonna serve some roasted potatoes. I'll cook them in a little vegetable oil until they're golden brown. While the potatoes are roasting in the oven, I'm going to generously salt and pepper both steaks. Pressing the seasoning into the meat. Once the potatoes have finished roasting, I'm going to keep them warm and then reheat them when the other parts of the meal are ready. I'm going to pour the beef stock into my Finex sauce pot and put that in the oven so it's hot when I add it to the pan. I'm going to put the skillet in the oven to get it up to a high temperature. I'm looking for close to 500 degrees Fahrenheit or 260 centigrade on the surface of the pan. When the skillet is ready, I'll add some clarified butter and then add the steaks. I'm going to cook the steaks for around two, maybe three minutes on each side so they're medium rare. That'll be around 140 Fahrenheit or 60 degrees centigrade in the center if you're gonna use a meat thermometer. When the steaks are done, I'm gonna let them rest and keep them warm while I make the sauce. First, I'm gonna remove any excess oil from the pan 
but keep the fond. Fond are the brown bits of steak left on the surface of the pan. This is chef's gold, and these concentrated flavors are gonna add a richness to the sauce. Add the butter to the pan. And then the chopped shallots, and the garlic, and the green peppercorns and saute for about a minute or two. Next, I'm gonna add the brandy and ignite that with the fire from the oven. The brandy is gonna add another wonderful flavor to the sauce. Once the flame has died, add the beef stock. And reduce that by half to intensify the flavor. Add any pan juice that has gathered while the steaks have been resting. This will add even more flavor to the sauce. Add the cream. and bring to a gentle boil. Simmer for a few minutes until the sauce has thickened. Keep an eye on the sauce because you don't want to burn the cream. Adjust the seasoning as needed. now that everything is ready to serve. I'll sprinkle sea salt over the potatoes. Serve the steak and pour over some of the green peppercorn sauce.